Marvel has apparently laid some staff off. Now, not a, a massive number of people like we've been hearing some of the mergers, like you know, 300 people laid off, 15 people. But this is kind of unprecedented for something like Marvel. Why is it happening? Why has Marvel, this giant, you know, the responsible for the biggest blockbuster series in the history of cinema itself, why are they laying people off? Are things that bad? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. The folks over at The Hollywood Reporter have written about this, and here's how they explain it. Uh, they said the following. Layoffs are occurring Monday at Marvel Entertainment in New York. That was yesterday, obviously. And Marvel Studios in Burbank. Around 15 people will be affected, including junior-level employees in production and development, The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. No further layoffs are anticipated beyond Mondays. The layoffs come as Marvel refocuses its slate after a content boom as it ramped up to produce numerous films and TV shows a year to feed Disney+. Plus. As a part of the pullback, the studios just has one film opening this year with July's Deadpool and Wolverine and is expected to have just two live-action TV shows this year. One of them will be Agatha, but I can't remember what the other one is. Uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger telegraphed in recent months that he expected Disney as a whole to lower its output and refocus on quality projects after several misses at the box office. All right. So the layoffs, this kind of becomes a little bit understandable when you hear about it. Because remember, we did talk about this a number of months ago. Bob Iger came out and said, look, they've simply had too much in production. We've been making too many shows and movies. We've been getting ahead of ourselves. Talking about the previous regime under Bob Chapek, who one producer at Marvel confirmed recently that once Bob Chapek took over as CEO of Disney, he gave a mandate to Marvel to crank out absolutely as much as possible to feed into Disney+. Plus. The drawbacks of that are, of course, that you're overworking your senior leadership. You're now working with writers that you never would have worked with before because you have so many extra projects. You're now working with other talent that you wouldn't have worked with before, and the overall quality of your product drops, and that's what we've seen. And I'm not trying to bash on Disney, but I think we all agree, however much or little, I think we all agree that the post-Endgame era of Disney has not been up to snuff of phases one, two, th and three, right? Yeah. I think we all agree with that. Yeah. They've had some big wins, some big wins. Yeah. Guardians 3, Spider-Man No Way Home, definitely some big wins. Shang-Chi. But they've had fewer wins than we're used to them having. And Bob Iger came out and said, now that I'm back in charge... We're giving creative power back to people like Kevin Feige, and we're going to reduce the amount of content that we make. In that context, if you're trying to make a thousand donuts and you got 10 people making a thousand donuts, and then suddenly you're making 500 donuts, you probably don't need the same number of people. And you're going to be letting some people go. That sucks. It's never a good thing when anybody ever loses their job, but Sometimes it's what makes sense. So I wasn't surprised to hear about this, that them reducing... I was surprised. The one part of the story that surprises me was in the Hollywood Reporter where it said they don't expect there to be any more layoffs. Mm. I actually thought there would be more coming depending on how much they cut back. But if all they cut back is 15... Well, and they were they were junior level, right? As the article brought out? Well, it says some of them were junior some were level. Junior. I'm sure there's probably a couple of mid to maybe even one or two senior level people. Yeah. Because, like, think of it this way. If you've got this huge docket and then one entire television series and one entire motion picture gets taken off your slate, you're, you're probably going to lose, be flexible enough to lose some junior, mid, and maybe even one or two senior people. Yeah. So if they can just keep it to 15... I think they'll be doing they, pretty good. They probably also, those employees probably felt it coming. Because after, probably, yeah. After a while, you start to, to feel like, and I, I, I've i been there personally where you're like, well, I'm kind of twiddling my thumbs and it's not my fault. The work's not coming in. And then a few weeks later, you get yes, the work, Yes, we had right? that discussion yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we did. So see you guys. <laughs> anyway. That's a joke, by the way. Segue. <laughs> That's a great segue. Great <laughs> segue. Meant to say, see you guys later. Surprise. <laughs> guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
Harry's. You know guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands, except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. <laughs> Question is for you. What do you think about this? Is it kind of a shock to hear the juggernaut Marvel laying people off? Does it make total sense to you given that they said they're going to reduce the amount of content? Maybe you're like me and you're actually kind of surprised they're not laying off more. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.